It's, it's E flat major prelude. And uh, we have a change, a, a tape. So we're going to do a little tape change. And that's good because it gives me a chance. I'll, I'll play this, this piece, this prelude for you, because it's an amazing piece. And it's a, it's a big one. It goes on. I'll have to stop in the middle and, and change pages for you. But because uh, it's four pages across.
is a good, the G flat rather, is a good signal. It's a very flat note and it means something is up, something is about to restart. Um, you remember the first time you heard this? That's the way it sounded like on the other page. This is the same thing again, except that the red material is down a fourth. So it's kind of interesting how Bach can use the same material in different kinds of uh, contrapuntal relationships. And he uses that possibility to build a new section here. In the first section, we have a lot of uh, strato of the theme on top of itself. Here's something I think much more uh, exciting, and I think Bach was definitely architecturally thinking, what can I do in this section to really allow the listener to keep moving, moving to look for some place, an arrival point? And what he does is he makes, uh, instead of using a lot of strato and overlapping of the theme, now the theme becomes much clearer, but it's always moving up. This is in the alto here. Da, but now it doesn't stop. And then finally the soprano has it. So it started all the way down here. Keyboard. So this entire section, starting over here, once it gets rolling, leads us through all the voices up to the high C. I think it'd be good for you to hear that um, while you're looking at it. So I'm going to start right here. for us. 